One of the most irritating yet essential activities of modern life is charging our electronic gadgets using wall chargers. Some devices charge quickly, while others seem to take ages for each percentage point. More often than not, we forget to remove the charger after we disconnect a device, meaning that the wall charger remains connected to the mains, but doesn't have any load connected to it. The question is, does an idle wall charger consume power? More importantly, does it sustain damage if it stays idling for too long? A wall charger usually has an input in the range of 100 to 240 volts, 50 to 60 hertz, depending on which country you're using it in. The output is much lower, at just over 5 volts. The input in the wall charger is AC, whereas its output must be DC, so that it can be used to charge electronic devices. A typical wall charger, such as one for a smartphone, consists of three main components, an AC-DC converter, a step-down transformer, and a regulator. The electricity that comes to our houses from the grid through loads of poles and wires has a voltage in the range of 100 to 200 volts. A voltage this high obviously can't be used for household appliances, which operated much lower voltages. Thus, a step-down transformer inside the wall charger reduces the high input voltage from the main power source to a significantly lower output voltage. The next part is AC to DC conversion. Remember, the electricity coming from a power pole is AC, alternating current, and it must be converted to DC, direct current, in order to charge batteries. Once the step-down transformer reduces the voltage to the order of 5 volts, and the AC is converted into DC, you simply need to control the flow of electricity to maintain a constant voltage across the connected load. This final step is handled by the regulator. So what if a charger is plugged in but not connected to a device? In such a situation, the charger will still draw a minimal current from the mains, and the regulator will maintain a steady supply of 5 volts. Since the charger is not connected to a device, it will result in wasted electricity, but it will be a very, very small amount. Also, it won't cause any sort of damage to the charger. Some modern chargers even have a sleep mode, which turns the charger off if it remains disconnected for an extended period. However, if the charger remains connected to the main power source and sits unconnected to any load for days on end, the electricity wastage over weeks, months, or years may be considerable. At the end of the day, however small in magnitude, it's still wasted power that you could use to charge your devices many times over. This is also power that many places on Earth can't access. In short, remove chargers from the wall once you've disconnected your device from its charging adapter. There's just no reason to waste the juice.